Hello together, Thomas Ginger, Armand Gierbach. In the next video I want to care about the engine or Rex module in combination with the Knut Miller cutback teeth. And this module is for restorate atrophic parts of the bone when you want to build up new gingiva parts either for small bridges or even for big span bridges which are screw retained completely on the jaw. And now let's start. Let's go. First I want to show is the patient's card, how to look like. And you see this is an anterior bridge from 1, 2, 2, 2, 2. And let's have a click on the tooth number 1, 2. This should be a copying in a solid material, for example. And what's important to know is that we have a pre-op model, that we have a separate gingiva scan, and that we want to make a screw retained bridge, and that we have the design of the gingiva. If you click here a yes, then you are wizard guided through your construction with the gingiva parts. So let's go in and start with the construction. The first thing is that you get a note that's meaning that only with conical titanium bases it's possible to make screw retained bridges. You can click on OK and then you can continue. For demonstrating here some of the new features here, I go to a vestibular perspective. I click on add a custom view and I rename that custom view and I say this is front view and I click on OK and now I can move the construction and with a single click here on my front view this is immediately in the same perspective. First picture here with the wizard shows the correction of the pre-op model. I don't want to do it of course this scan was just in the right position. Click on next and then I'm selecting my abutment system. Here in our case we have a range 4 then we have to click here on our system from the size here it's a screw retained kit A 3.5 millimeter and the last thing we have to select is the height of the gluing part of this conical titanium part we want to glue and I take the 3 millimeters one then let's put away our pre-op and click on the first without the antagonist and I select here I click on it and say best fit matching then I continue, that's it, it's a very quick thing. Then go on the next one, also click on best fit matching and then I continue by clicking on next. In this part I am creating my profile on the gingiva all along here. It's enough to have four clicks here. Then you click on next, take the other one. And for clicking it's also possible to go on correct and draw and make it with single clicks so you can click along on your profile of course sometimes it's better to have the single clicks and not the automatic one with four clicks. If necessary you can correct these control points, that's okay. Now we get our teeth here from the library here. And these teeth, when you look very close, are the Knut Miller teeth. So it's recommended if you want to change the teeth afterwards from the normal standard Knut Miller teeth to the cutback teeth, you should set these teeth as the default one for Knut Miller. How to make? You click on the settings, then you go on settings again, and here with the tooth library in use, you can select here your Knut Miller teeth as the standard and default ones. That's the possibil that possibility offers you the, the advantage that you don't now place your teeth in the right position and after f uh, f uh, changing them, that you then, then have to, ch to rechange it again. And now for putting that teeth in the right position, I will use the chain mode to show that. Let's put away the screw channels and look from top. And you see that the chain mode has some small discs here at the end. If you move that disc, you see that only one side of the bridge is moving. And now I want to show the pre-op model to go with my teeth in the right position in the pre-op scan. So first is I move it in the right position in the approximal area between the 1, 2 and 2, 2. Then I'm fixing the end standing points of my chain and now I'm moving my middle teeth here, the middlest. And now I'm looking from the buccal side and you see it's moving completely. 
and now I go to single move here you see what happens at the moment these T's keep staying in the approximal contact so this is fine arrangement and uh, finally I do a little rotating of the centrals here and put them a little inside and I use the the T's now from the pre-ops can only as a kind of helping uh, I don't want to adapt them in the over next step I only want to use them for looking what is the right position in the same line and that's it so you see when I am increasing the one two that the centrals are moving of course I am continuously in approximate contact if I don't want to have that I decheck the box keep in contact and then I can move the twos by single um, even if they have a small penetration uh, um, intersection I will cut that in the over next step that's for the chain mode and now I continue to the next step and you will see when the T's from the library are now calculating over to our abutments it leads to uh, sometimes a little strange behavior here sorry so I have to click here and now you see it very clearly what I want to show the tooth is a little destroyed here in is in its uh, morphology so I want to avoid that there is a small trick to do that I go back and then I'm sh I'm sh shifting here to the expert mode and on the expert mode I'm doing a right mouse click in background and I have the menu command it's called library models to Pontix look what happens now I'm only clicking two times on OK and now let's see from the Basel side these teeth now have been closed before they have been open on bottom now they are closed and for clicking now with my wizard step on click on next the calculation is not running such kind strange over to the m to the margin line of my abutments so next step to fit the abutments this is a uh, little pressure on the gingiva part and here I am setting a limit as around 140 migrants and then I blow it a little open and I have a small intersection now with my abutment to the gingiva that's all click on next and now I'm doing the fine tuning of the adapting I first want to adapt it to Pontix to the gingiva I check the box pull down to the gingiva of course that's better for the positioning they are getting a little longer then I make a occlusal cut and finally an approximal cut of course I have small um, intersections between the approximal area then sometimes it helps to have the entire tools to move a little to the palatinal side um, it's better for the later process of adapting the gingiva to the color around the the margin here another time adapting of the pontix of course i have moved them a little you see they are cut now again and now i'm continuing and that is the step i told you we could jump over of course i don't want to go directly to the pre op scan. Look at the pre op scan, it's not so nice. It's a little rough surface. There was some wax or some spray on it. I don't want to adapt it. So I continue completely without making the adaptation. And now, in that step here, it's important we have a calculation kind of block out. I'm searching for the nice position for the angle for the for the design for the gingiva from top and I click on insert and direction from you and then I click on generate the bottom why do we have to generate a kind of skin over that model there could be some saw cuts there could be some really heavy undercuts there could be some holes in the scan and all that parts now are covered with our calculation with a small skin and between that skin and our construction we can create a small layer between for around 30 or 40 migrants that we have some distance in between to protect of course sometimes you are um, preparing your gingiva you're removing some material to have a gentle pressure on it and so this happens here with some different parameters here for this kind of offset here is on default 30 migrants and the smoothing means how smooth is the surface after this uh, calculation procedure 
it's just done and now we see here our layer on the model we see the colored areas which are under cut areas and we see these arrows this is my uh, my insertion direction click on next and now I'm creating the line for the gingiva I start here on one edge go here behind on the palatinal area and now I want to pass in between the approximal area here I'm the um, checking the box of the anatomic teeth and now I'm lowering here that line and go along here come up here again and double click and now with that double click this is the command apply and we see our first decision of our model with the gingiva on it on the around teeth and you can um, easily see that the adaptation is really nice made by the software in that first step and sometimes I want to make it a little bigger so I could increase here my thickness on the base and the cervical and I reapply again and make my gingiva part a little bigger you will see finally we can uh, flatten and move all the parts of the gingiva in the next steps so click next and now we have two big buttons here it's a small region or a huge region movement so let's start with a huge region if I put here my mouse on the interdental approximal area and I j j draw a little here I drag a little and then you see what happens this is with the big the huge area and with small areas you could do moving moving like this here so you create the kind of root here of your tooth you want to have the uh, palatinal part and you want to lift up here in the approximal area to close that kind of windows and if you want to lift up some material to go to the register free and you go on add and remove make a small tool and bring up some more material if it's necessary here to create your gingiva like nature but remember in some over next steps we will shrink the gingiva and want to rebuild with some light curing materials so don't give too much time here for the uh, modulation and for the flattening here that's okay for the first step then click on next and now I want to change the Knut Miller standard teeth to the cutback teeth so let's check here this drop down menu it's three different kind of teeth the first is the incisal cutback looks like this here you can see we are completely veneering from buccal from the vestibular and from the palatinal side here a second option would be the labial so labial means the complete uh, palatinal part here is completely um, reserved for anatomic it keeps anatomic way and when we have the anatomic uh, shape here of cutback labial supported this is nice when you have the canines and you want to have a protection on the side of the palatinal here that you want to have a pr protection here all over zirconia and only want to porcelain here on the buccal side so I will keep at this uh, form here and I click on apply and you will watch that now the cutback teeth are calculated to the rest of our geometry of our morphology of the teeth it's a small calculation and uh, the, the parts now which get uh, before modulated by myself are now attached to this uh, reduced uh, morphology click on next and possibility to freeform what I want to make is that I want to add some small material in the approximal area to close that windows here so give a little more material here on buccal on, on the mesial and distal side and here also I don't want to have this, this open windows of course of five axis outside milling the the burr would go inside here and uh, don't want to have that here so little flattening here all over it and that's it then I click again on adapting the pontix the occlusal if there would be an intersection to the antagonist it's cut and if there would be approximal this could be completely removed here small flattening here and I'll click on next in the next step we want to care about the shrinkage of our gingiva and you see these blue parts here 
these are protected parts they don't will be sh they will not be shrinked in the next process and in some areas I don't want to have this shrinkage except uh, the the vestibular side so I protect with a brush tool the completely basal side the shrinkage here it's around 0 0.4 0 0.5 depends on your own desire and now I click on apply and you will see here now the shrinkage of the gingiva in some steps after I will freeform it let's see here how it looks like you see the gingiva design has got a new thing here this is my shrink design now and this is my design before the shrinkage so this, this was before shrinkage and after shrinkage now click on next and now we get the connectors and in that case here I don't want to have any connectors at all so I click here this uh, new button here it's deleting the connectors with one click click on apply and they are gone of course we don't need connectors here in that case with a click on next now we get the first merging of the elements and this merging is only the merging uh, procedure between the Knut Miller cutback teeth and our gingiva we will have a second merging over next step and this would care about the screw holes the screw channels so let's see the final result of our merged parts and these parts now are possible to freeform so sharp edges around the margin here or on the edge here directly on the the profile line I just decided I could take my smooth and flattening tool and go around a little with a click on next I have these three forming tools available take the smooth and flatten one so I can go very with a smooth tool here along and to flatten it a little here even around my margin here if there is two sharp edges here for veneering and now on the palatinal side here it's perfect I don't want to have any changes and now I can click on next to cut again some pontic here and adapt them to the gingiva occlusal approximal at the moment no more necessary approximal parts I could have them free forming and add material here to add a little more contact point here on this side and on the other side here add some more material and make a cut here on the approximal cut cut that intersections then I could click on next to merge the parts together and now we get the merging process between our teeth and our complete things here including the screw channels I didn't touch the screw channels at the moment and that's finished if necessary I could create the screw channels here with the export mode I could go again here to design these screw channels here on the toolbar you see here my screw channel design if I want to put the screw channels a little higher you see what I can do can do here so but it's not necessary to have some any changes here so leave it like it is and click on OK and finally now with the wizard it will be completely merged finally and now I have my finished work let's have a final look here on our work with the jaw with the gingiva here with the jaw with the gingiva how it looks like and with our anatomic shape and now you can see nicely here our Knut Miller cutback teeth all that gray material would be restored with ceramic with some ceramic layers or with acrylic layers and here for our gingiva here we could even take some acrylic light curing material or some ceramic firing on it finally merged parts every other parts here let's put away here the check boxes and now it's ready to go to the machining go in this in the block and mill it in material you want and uh, bring it in the in the block and uh, center it and then you're finished with the engine module this model is not only possible now for small bridges you could even make big bridges let's see some pictures for example here in this picture you can see the nice difference between the standard outside milling with the 4x and the 5x completely outside milling with the high definition strategy and here after coloring here this is a nice picture from Knut Miller here he made as a demonstration work and here after the painting before sintering after the sintering process here and after the porcelaining and after the bringing the light curing material for the gingiva parts so 
that was our module here for making our gingiva part, the Rex module and the MGIN module. Nice to see you, hope to see you again, have a nice day and see you.